We're here with Ernie Allen. Now, Ernie, you are the president of? The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and its sister organization, the International Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Now, this is a very heavy job description, number one. I mean, I have to applaud you for even doing what you're doing right now, but you brought out some very interesting facts. We see, you know, films that talk about internationally and, and where it's happening, what, what, the exploitation and, and the trafficking, but what's, what's, what's going on right now with it not being illegal? legal in some places. Well, I think one of the challenges, one of the things we saw in Shed No Tears is as important as it is to mobilize the community to build that grassroots mm -hmm. effort against this, first and foremost there needs to be law. Right. Government, law enforcement in each country needs to address it. We reviewed the law on child sexual exploitation since part of, of trafficking is sexually motivated right. in 196 countries and we found that most of the countries have no law at all. It's not illegal. It's not illegal and so even in countries that recognize it um, not enough is being done. Now there's extraordinary international leadership on this. There's a, a United Nations Convention on Transnational Organized Crime and a protocol that addresses trafficking. Okay. The International Labor Organization has gotten 183 countries to agree to aggressively address this problem and eradicate it by 2016. But it wasn't until 2006 that Benin criminalized the trafficking of children. And criminalizing that act in Benin is one of the reasons why they've begun to make serious progress. And that's the important point that we want to bring out. I mean, everybody says, well, what can we do? What can they do? Uh, because this is not something that, that is, uh, as was brought out, it's not like, a, you know, you can just go and do it. It's, it's a criminal organization. It's a sophisticated one. Right? We, we argue aggressively that this is not just a human rights problem, and it's a huge human rights problem. It's organized crime. People engage in the trafficking of children for a very basic reason, and that is low risk and enormous profitability. And this is ultimately a business enterprise. And so hopefully what a powerful film like Shed No Tears will do is awaken the public that this is going on. Uh, what we find around the world is that these are hidden victims. These are kids that somehow the world doesn't see. And until we awaken the world's leaders to what's happening to our children, we're never going to effectively address it. And the community members, it all starts with everybody that, I mean, like you said, if we don't see it, we don't know to pull it out. So if you see it or if you know of it, what can somebody do? Well, the most important thing they can do is report it. And here in the United States, we operate at the National Center, what's called the Cyber Tip Line. It's okay. a 911 for the internet. Oh, okay. It's, it's cybertipline.com. Really? So if you see it, if you suspect it, if you know about it, Report it. Call your local police and then alert us at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. So go to cybertipline.com. Absolutely. If any one of those exist. Do okay. you have information? Let us know. We'll follow up Is on it. Is it anonymous? You can be anonymous. Okay. You don't have to be anonymous. Obviously, we want all the information you can provide, but you can be anonymous. Okay. So if you suspect, go do it. Thank you so very much for taking no, a moment with you. us. Thank you. Good to be with you. Thank you. Thank you.